What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dabrunski here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of an update on my Blizzard Sorceress that I've been playing with on Ladder. I've had a lot of requests to make videos that are oriented around how to gear up your Sorceress and what items to look for so in today's video I'm going to basically show you guys the progression of my Sorceress from the previous video that I made last week, show you how I've added more damage, uh, better gear, more MF and show you guys kind of MF strategies and locations and specific items to look for trying to basically cover everything in this video but a quick reminder guys that this entire character's journey has been streamed on twitch link for my twitch channel it is of course in the description below twitch slash debrunsky125 so if you guys could give me a follow there i'd really appreciate it it's basically just where i'm building up this character from scratch so you guys can catch everything live but guys as always hope you enjoyed this video let's jump in So the first thing that I want to do is to just run through the gear quickly. Again, you guys can reference the video linked in the description below from last week and you can see how the gear has progressed. But I have uh, basically doubled my MF, increased my damage and added a lot more plus skills to my character. Now you have to remember that some of these items have been a little bit lucky, but others are kind of just basic generic sort of MF staples. So starting off with the weapon and the shield, this is exactly the same as last week. I'm still using a Spirit and a Crystal Sword, an Ancient's Pledge, just really nice for plus skills, FHR, and then FCR breakpoints and resistances. And then on Switch, you'll notice that I am now using a Magic Lower Res 1. This has level 2 charges, so a little bit more minus res for a quicker Mephisto kill. And then I've paired that with Rhyme on the offhand, so Shale and F and any two open socket shield. I try to, and I do occasionally mess it up, but I like to at the last minute switch to my offhand before I kill Mephisto just to get that extra 25 MF to try and get a really nice uh, easy drop like a Rackets Mesh or something, but it's not really that necessary to do it. But if I did drop something like an Alibaba, I would possibly use that and Rhyme on switch because that would be a big total boost to MF kind of on the kill swap with Mephisto. Again, uh, it's totally up to you. The big upgrades from the previous video is the body armor and the helmet. Now, I just recently found Shaco today. Big upgrade, uh, MF and skills. I was using Tarn Helm before, which Tarn Helm is kind of like a poor man Shaco. And then I do have this nearly perfect ethereal Skulder's Ire. So I do get a big chunk of MF from Shaco, Skulder's, and then using Rhyme on Switch. And then I also have Trang's gloves, which is the same gloves as the previous video, but it helps me hit the 63 FCR breakpoint. So I have this same FCR ring from the previous video, Trang's, Spirit, and then I have a crafted caster amulet. Now these are really easy to make early on. I'm not at the level where I can guarantee myself to get plus two to sorceress skills, but still something like this, nine FCR, mana, all four resistances with 25 light res is a really nice addition. And then I have Nagel, Nagel Ring, this rare belt, which is the same as last week. And then I did find these really nice boots, which these will be literally end game boots for my sorceress. 30 faster run log, 10 FHR, cold res, fire res, and 24 MF. In my opinion, they're honestly better than more travelers. The inventory for the sorceress is nothing special. I just have assorted large charms, grand charms, and small charms that have resistance and life on them. And this one has FHR, but just stuff to try and get uh, my resistances a little bit better and more overall total health because I don't have a CTA yet. We're still kind of progressing and building up off the ground. So I have almost 1200 life with 425 mana pool. So that's a big jump from the last week's video where I think I had like 250 mana, something like that. But that's mostly from big boost that I got from Shaco. But that basically wraps up the Sorceress's gear. Now, some of the stuff that I'm trying to look to improve on is one big aspect is trying to improve the mercenary. So he really has nothing right now, just placeholder items like complete garbage, Blackhorn's face, this random rare cryptic axe and it's three open socket body armor he basically dies all over the place but the plan is with this three open socket body armor i'm currently farming cows because i really want to get a lem rune that can make treachery uh, shale thaw lem that gives a uh, fade res uh, increase attack speed and then i want to pair that with Hell's mask is going to give him life leech and resistances then you pair that with the fade proc from treachery and then i do need to get a four open socket pull arm to make insight because that's really going to help with the mana issues with my sorceress. Now the big 
issue that I have with running a mercenary is that even with treachery, Tal's mask, and insight, he's going to die if I do not get a CTA buff. So that's really the next big piece that I want to jump up with this sorcerer setup. I don't have, well, I do have a gull rune. So technically, if I found a second gull rune, I could make Hodo. But I think that the biggest upgrade that I can make is getting a CTA on the offhand and then eventually making Spirit and a Monarch. Now, I do actually have the base. I found a plain white Monarch farming cows, and then I did Larzic it for four open sockets. So I burnt one Larzic quest. I have a Tower to see to Thul or an Am, and so I can make Spirit. But the big issue with this right now, early on with my Sorceress, is I need 156 strength to equip it. And I currently only have 97. So that's a big jump up in strength, which is worth it for sure. A lot of people have suggested using stuff like a Wisp Spike paired with Spirit and a Monarch. Now, Wisp Spike has a 75 dex requirement, which I do have this in my inventory. Wisp Spike on its own is an awesome item for Sorceress. It has 50 FCR, big boost to mana and all resistances. I mean, massive 75 all res. That is amazing for completely capping out your res early on with a budget character, but it requires 75 dexterity to equip it. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but I only have 97 into strength currently with my character. Nothing into dexterity, and then I have everything into vitality with nothing into energy. Now, if I want to equip spirit in a monarch shield, I need to basically put 60 some odd points into strength. So we're pulling that out of vitality. And then I need to invest enough dexterity to get 75. So that is going to end up making my sorceress have probably a health pool around 800 or maybe 900 max, which I think 900 is kind of pushing it. We'd be sort of closer to 800 health, which with how fragile I am, it is nice having a higher mana pool and capped out res, but I think it's better to have 1200 vitality. So I really want to push and make that CTA first. That's really priority number one, I think, is making CTA, getting that big health buff and then I can choose whether or not I want to rock something like a wizard spike on the main hand or resistances and a mana or hodo or even run dual spirit like spirit and a crystal sword and spirit and a monarch but really I think that the main focus next for my build for upgrading it is to get a CTA and then get better gear for the mercenary and I'm really just going to accomplish that by doing continued Mephisto pendle runs and cow runs. So I'm going to do part of a cow run I won't make you guys sit through an entire cow run because I do have a pretty weak character. It takes me a while to clear everything. I just to give you guys kind of an idea of the progression of the build. So you did see me in the previous video. I did uh, Mephisto and Pendle, so I'm still doing those rotations. I just like to do Hell on top of that, or sorry, like do Hell Cows on top of that. Excuse me. Now I am still really weak, so I need to watch like. A bad teleport, getting surrounded by these guys, I die pretty quickly. And I don't have a massive radius range on my static field either. And there's just so many cows and with my limited mana pool. And not having an insight mercenary, I don't bother ice blasting the crap out of everything. Just kind of skirt around. Doing a lot of these. Killing cow clusters and trying to check and sift the loot. So I'll talk a little bit about some of the bases that I'm kind of looking for. In terms of a base for CTA, I do kind of want... I'm not actually too picky as making my first CTA. Anything that drops, it's five open sockets and a low requirement. So Crystal Sword, Twin Axe is really good. Uh, flail. I mean, people don't like to use Flail because if they make Hodo, Hodo on a Flail, CTA in a Flail, it's kind of... Uh, just checking everything that kind of drops. 24 life. That's actually an upgrade. I just got to figure out exactly the inventory Tetris. Yeah, I will. That's a nice charm, though. 24 to life. Probably go like that. I'm just I'm saving this for a crafted caster amulet. I'm trying to leave a minimum of eight squares to make sure I always have stuff to pick up. Inventory space. Now my cube is completely maxed. I do have some stuff I want to get rid of. Eth tracks. I'm kind of thinking about keeping these for doing ancient tunnel runs because of the big poison res boost. And then again, I have gold wrap and uh, different cast jamlets and anokazon. So 
I'm pretty kind of capped out. I'm not using a mule. I'm trying to do everything solo self found, so he's seen everything else in the inventory here, like Lidless, Stealth, uh, I have these for a friend who's a bow bar, but yeah. Just need to make spirit, get the runes. But looking for the, yeah, the CTA base. Anything a five open socket, low requirement. If I do get a four open socket whale, I will try and pick that up. Try and hold on to that to make heart of the oak. At some point, I will have to try and sell some stuff in my cube. Now you want to stay away from the fortress. You can't kill the cow king. You can kill him infinite times on Pluggy, but. Those that are watching know that you can't kill him infinite times on B-Net. Amulet. So really it's just a lot of this, trying to hopefully get lucky, get a Lemrune and still doing the Fisto and Pindle rotations because all Mephisto is going to be a really good spot to try and get that Tiles Mask for the Mercenary. And if I get lucky, I can get my bases, like get my CTA base, my HODL base. Try and get Insight base. I could also do Ancient Tunnel Runs too. It's not a bad, bad place to check for bases and stuff, a bad teleport. Ancient Tunnels would be a good alternative if you don't like farming cows. But I think cows, players one difficulty, it's probably better to get those desired runes and stuff. It's gonna finish up, kill this little pack here. Because again, it takes me quite a while to do an entire cow run. I don't really like getting right up in their faces and trying to static and stuff, because I don't have the best static range early on. What is my static range? Uh, eight radius, so I'm kind of like right in their face and don't have an infinity mercy or anything like that. So just basically a lot of teleporting and blizzarding. But that wraps up everything that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully it's sort of a good segue from the video I made the previous week, showing you guys how I'm continuing to make my sorcerer stronger and which kind of items I'm trying to prioritize and tasks to really most effectively build my character from scratch. But as always guys, if you could throw a like on this video, share it and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel i post new weekly content on youtube and stream consistently on twitch again link is in the description below twitch slash to 125 so if you guys could give me a sub on youtube and a follow on twitch i'd really appreciate it other than that guys hope you have a fan freaking tastic day and i'll see you on my next video or live stream peace out